Hello and welcome to the HomeQuest tutorial. This is Shilpa, the creator of the HomeQuest software. Um, this is the opening screen when you press the icon um, of HomeQuest Gold. Now, this tutorial is about the repertorization table. If you've noticed, the repertorization table appears at the base of the screen by default, even as you change tabs or jump to different sections of the software. The repertorization table just remains down here. Now it has a few parts. This is the repertorization sheet, whereas this is the quest analysis. Now remember the quest analysis works only with the quest feature. So we'll talk about that in, in another tutorial, which is the quest tutorial. We'll concentrate only on the repertorization sheets. Now, how do you add rubrics into the repertorization table? It's very easy. Remember, whenever you see a rubric in any section of your program, be it your repertory browser, search, quest, remedy comparison, you just double click on a rubric and that appears into your table. So you can search from different repertories, different sections, see an interesting rubric, double click on that and the repertorization gets updated every time. Okay, now the complete rubric is displayed in here. So this is the complete repertory mind, alternating state. So you have the book name, the section name and the rubric name, all arranged um, one after the other. Now, If you need to delete any particular rubric, just press the box. So for example, I want to delete air cold as a causative factor from the Clark's clinical repertory. I'll just click on the box next to it and say remove rubric and that rubric is gone. Now we'll just add a few more symptoms. I'll choose some from say absent-minded, double click from the Ken's repertory, We'll choose something else from the nerve repertory, say from the nose, acrid coryza, double click, and the repertorization is just updated. I'll just increase the size by just dragging in the tab, the, the edge of the sheet of the repertorization table. Okay, now how do you set the intensity for each rubric? Now the intensity of every rubric can be set in three grades and they're represented in the form of colored stars here. So by default, um, the grade of each rubric is indicated by just one colored star. To just increase the grade to two, simply click on the second star. To increase it further to grade three, click on the third star. And when you do that, the repertorization automatically gets updated here. It's just multiplying the the, to, the scope, the degree by the number of um, grades. To decrease the, de the intensity, click on the stars back and there you come back to your original intensity set. Now, how do you set eliminating symptoms? That's the third thing you can actually work in a repertorization. Elimination is actually confining our repertorization to only a small group of remedies presenting in your eliminating rubric and eliminates all the rest of your um, remedies. So for example, if you want to choose, say, Coryza Acrid as an eliminating rubric, you need to just press E. So what happens here is only the remedies in this particular rubric are repertorized. Now, you have to be quite careful because if you choose the wrong rubric, it might eliminate um, because it confines the repertorization to the remedies common to that, it can eliminate your curative remedy. You can also choose more than one eliminating rubric. So for example, you want to choose my absent minded as well. So there you go. So Immediately you see it's updated and you just have remedies common to only these two rubrics, Coriza acrid and absent-mindedness, and only those rep remedies are being repertorized. 
so this is um, a handy um, option if you are prone if you want to use the eliminating symptom next how can you work with different repertory sheets now in quest by default there are just two sheets and sheet one and sheet two and the active sheet which is the sheet one is highlighted and whenever you add rubrics they are added to the active sheet one However, you can add any number of sheets to your repertorization. So there is no limit to the number of sheets you can actually um, add in. So just press new sheet and you can have as many repertorizations as you want. To activate a sheet or you're working on one particular sheet, press that sheet. So the rubrics are added on that sheet. If you want rubrics to be collected in sheet 2, then click on that and the rubrics are now collected in sheet 2. So you can actually have sheet 1 in the background and sheet 2 and so on and so forth. So you can work parallel repertorizations um, at the same time. Now if you see the sheets appear numbered but you can wish to change the name of any particular sheet what you just need to do is choose a sheet and say rename and you can add an add new name so for example if this is um, say the patient's name and say okay so that's sheet one if you want to rename sheet two with something else just say rename sheet and that's your second so it's quite simple to change the names